the size of that plant over there. What do you think that is? Is that a paper mill? I guess it is. Right on the water. Ah, you get all the trees. Sorry about that. It's a paper mill, is my guess. I don't know. Could be wrong. Getting close to Florida. Somebody just got busted. Or did they? How about that? Moving on the water, not too bad, right? so humid. It's crazy as you get closer to Florida you can just feel how thick the air is. That's one thing about Florida. What about Florida, man? You gotta be conditioned to live down here because it's just I mean, it, I always say it's 88 degrees at 2 in the morning 88 degrees at 10 a.m. in the morning and then it's 94 degrees at 4 o'clock in the afternoon but then it's just a sauna. You just sweat. I mean, you don't have to even do anything. You're just sweating. You gotta love that heat. Yeah. We had a beautiful sunset. We're lucking out. No rain. Thank goodness. Last time we came down, we ran into rain at the last uh, part of getting in. And then we ran into rain going back home. If you ever come down this area, you can understand how these major hurricanes and just really violent weather can just destroy these areas. There's no buffer, there's no mountains, there's just nothing to slow down that wind. I mean, it's just so flat. So that wind just, the you know, only thing is trees, but it blows down the trees, but you go up to the mountains, and that, those mountains will buffer that wind. Versus out here, man, you get 100 mile an hour winds. It's like being out in the Midwest. There's just nothing really to protect you. That's why this area just gets hammered if something goes through here. Check out this boat. Three motors. So, they are having three motors. What do you think this thing costs? I mean, the motors, depends what motors those are, but those could be 40, 50 grand each. If not more, can't really see the horsepower on them. So, Marauders, yeah, that's a nice boat. drive into Florida. Florida is coming right up on us right now. So really cool. As we come over into Florida. Okay, we're now on 301 off of uh, 95. It's called Route 200. It's alternate 301. And it's such a great drive. It gets you off that rat race of the 295 Route 10 area. Somebody coming down that wants to go down to the west coast. I highly recommend you get off on the 301 200 exit. And I wouldn't take 690. I wouldn't take the 295 Route 10. It's just too uh it's just too aggressive. And this just has beautiful views. So just an idea to be out there kind of watch my channel and travels down the uh, eastern seaboard of Florida. Now this is the time of day where you start to figure out how dirty your windshield is inside. Look at that. 
I definitely need to, when I stop at the gas station up here, I'm definitely going to wipe down this uh, windshield. Wow. Just beautiful country down here in Florida. Even though there's so much development in the city, you just get off in some of these roads and you just feel like you're such in the rural area still. And it's just such a pretty area. And the temperature right now is really nice, actually. Not bad at all. If we get on vacation, it just kind of gets you re-energized, if you know what I mean. Kind of break away from routine. Yeah, even for me, it's hard to believe it was February. I think it was like the second week of February we came down here. Which that's hard to believe. So that's March, April, May, June, like four months ago. Wow. And when we were coming in back in February, this would have been dark. And it was actually uh, raining. So, and it was cool. Probably like in this, I'm my guess, it would have been probably in the 50s. I think we're running a little later this time. I don't know why I think that. Just, eh, I don't know. Hard to say. been me. That could have been us starting to take the time to get the trailer. I 
it just didn't feel like that was the right oop there we go tanker trunk and camper do they meet wow we're already here at the uh, 301 route 10 interchange wow so there's a a uh, fifth wheel that I looked at years ago that's a nice setup toy hauler that's a lot of trailer right there nice operation though you know that's is that the next you know for me if I really felt like I was gonna use a camper yeah would that be something I would think about in the future I would but for me I really wanted to make sure that I use it before I spend that type of money that's got to be a buck fifty I would say it's a hundred grand more than what I paid for mine that'd be my guess that, huh? <laughs> hey, we're towing a trailer, and we still get to have fun, right? Yeah. I think I'm going to be able to just get one more tank of fuel, and I'll be all right. I think I want to get a picture of this trailer. A lot going on here, man. A lot of these truck trailer guys were forced to park way up the road up here. Because of uh, there's just no room. All right, here's getting his little F450. He's got the custom wheels on it. And oh, see, yeah, that's nice. Good looking truck. into a lot of little towns there's one town here that has the main prison in it and they're always sitting up here waiting to get you it's usually a cop parked like in a parking lot so just be very aware of that and the little towns will get you it's such the 70s 60s 50s that's what's cool about driving these off the main highway roads because you see so much of the history of where it was like 50, 60, now 70 years ago. Incredible. And usually a guy sits right up here. And I think I think one of the state prisons is in this town right here. there today. He just sits like right there. Carl's ice cream. Look at this. So you, you know you see really the the old stuff too that didn't make it. What was that at one time? That's a station where he just about ran out of fuel for my hot pepper red Bronco towing. We were down to like three miles. That was a tow video, like spring of 2022. And the railroad tracks run like parallel to this road, then cross over from the left to the right. Beautiful evening. A lot of 
churches. That place has totally accumulated cars just the last few years. It used to not be like that. Interesting. Some of the families had a car addiction, huh? I wonder, I wonder it would be like that. Look at these abandoned buildings. They all had their story, all had their day. You, know, you see some beautiful piece of property, and you just see these shacks. about Stark. Stark, Florida. It's a running joke. You live in Stark, Florida. It's not like you should be so happy to tell everybody that. cooling down. Cooler air is here. And traffic. We got like the dual US 301s. Old and new. One nice thing about this Hellcat truck is it just gets up and goes. It just rock and rolls, man. Gotta love that. Wow, so I was thinking that's the gas station we go to. I don't know if they tore it down and are rebuilding it, or that's a whole brand new location. Yeah, I think it's a raceway. Pretty incredible how many new gas stations are being built, even though it's all about the green agenda. It's gonna be a big operation catered a lot of trucks. Waldo, Florida. What's this guy doing? This is the problem. Thank you. Get dark about nine. So there you 
car. All right, here we are at this piece of crap pilot gas station. The, the fuel filters don't work. Well, the fuel is actually more expensive down here in Florida. Yeah, it is. It's a known fact. So, this gas station here sucks because they don't replace their fuel filters. So, these guys are operating on a whim. And this will take forever. How many gallons you got? It's not even moving. Look at this. No, it doesn't. This thing's pathetic. Oh, it just doesn't end just doesn't end so this turns into you know this killed 15 minutes of our time and we're in georgia i told the kid to top off her car she's like no i'm like how many miles you got she's like 243 miles I'm like okay that'll be the same as my truck so that's fine but now she's like i've ran out i'm gonna run we're down to 20 miles she's down to 20 miles and i'm like but this makes no sense i still have 100 plus miles I see it's dark now, so it's over on the conversations. So, yeah, it doesn't end. All right, now we're at a real gas station. Look at this here. Look at the difference here. It's the fuel filters. So, for this, there's gas station owners out there that are so cheap-ass, they won't replace their fuel filters on a regular basis. And what it does, it just chases people away. I can guarantee you, he lives locally here, he's going to come to this gas station all day long, over that other gas station because the uh, pumps take forever. Just dumbasses. All right, the bike's still standing. Got to check right now because we're really in the home stretch here. And that's standing. No inside light here. Check the uh, the monkey. It's laying down. You can't even see it. Has it moved around? Let's see here. Yeah, she goes pretty good. Yeah, all right. You can't really see it. Sorry about that. I wasn't watching my channel. Probably like I'm blind. I'm blinded by the lights. All right. Let me get everything out tripping. Fall outside the damn trailer. All right. Put all my guns in there, so I better lock it up, right? Yeah. I think that'd be a good idea. Wow. The cheapest fill-up of the day. How about that? I really didn't need fuel, that's why. All right, windows are clean. Truck is uh, full of gas. And I was just spending here. Ended up actually spending a little more, 67. All right, kids, get an attitude, but we'll make it all work. <laughs> you know these stories? Challenging dad. Yeah, it's like whatever. Yeah, she's hanging her foot out the, her window. She's sitting in this parking lot. It looks like she's bare, barefooted. And she's hanging her foot out in the driver's seat. And I'm telling her, if there's a cop nearby, he will pull in and he will actually ticket you. Because you're sitting in your car as a driver and you're hanging your foot out the window and he looks like you're barefooted. Uh, yeah. I know. And then she's looking at me like I'm the bad guy. Like, okay, whatever. This isn't like <laughs> the most upscale neighborhood. So this is the, in some ways, the riffraff area. So what do the cops do? They just drive around this little town here all night long looking for the riffraff. And this road, it's pretty incredible how busy this road kind of still is at this late at night. And uh, I was really hoping there's a Love's McDonald's up here on the left, but I can never find it. It's so weird how it's... When you go one way, it's on the, on the main road. But when you go on, when you go back, I never see it. It's like it's off, like the road split or something. I don't know. Get too complicated. Long day. But huge difference in my visibility. So I took the time back there to clean my inside windshield, and outside windshield. And now for me, this is huge difference. And at nighttime, you know, if you can't see out your window that well. It's very challenging. 
Nighttime is very dangerous. I don't really enjoy driving at night as you get older. I just don't really like it. Because I just drive in the daytime all the time. And as you get older, your eyes, you know, you just your vision deteriorates. Except for Don. Mr. Don, who just turned 65 in his 2020 vision. Hey, how about that, huh? Does he have 2020 smarts? Yeah, I want to ask that question. But why, Don? <laughs> Hey, happy belated birthday. Yesterday was his actually birthday. I, 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 I wished it on Facebook, but I didn't say it yesterday in my YouTube channel. But the, but on Monday, I said, or Tuesday, who the hell knows. <laughs> I can't keep track of your stuff there, Don. Sorry. <laughs> so now the good news is we have 285 miles of range, 150 miles to go, but I'm hungry. And it's, this always happens coming into my parents' house just late in the night, it's challenging to find a convenient restaurant where we can just pull off the road really easily get in and out of a restaurant. Usually you gotta go crisscross roads, get off the major interstate, and uh, oh well. That place back there, they sold that crispy chicken. But once you went in that place, you could just sense like no way. You know, it wasn't a clean place. No way. Bathrooms give it away. Just so you know, when you go to a restaurant, gas station, if the bathroom's trashed, that's pretty much goes everything else that they are handling with with food. I'd walk out. I did that with my wife. She'll tell you that story. We walked into a Dunkin' Donuts in Pennsylvania, and I literally went in the bathroom, and it was so trashed. I walked out the door. I said to the wife, said, let's go. She's like, what's wrong? I said, trust me, let's go. And she was so embarrassed to leave. I'm like, no, you do not want to eat at this place. The bathroom is disgusting. That means all their f healthy food stuff ain't clean. Walk. Trust me. All right. We are coming up to yet another turn. Another turn. Hard to believe I'm still 20 minutes away. Wow. As everybody knows, that last 20 minutes, 30 minute drive is always kind of like the, the one that gets you. It's just incredible, man. Where'd these places come from? I mean, beyond believable. When did those things all get built? I just can't. This whole area up here, oh, it's just beyond believable. I can still remember driving down this road 10 years ago. There was pretty much nothing here. <laughs> Oh, the times have changed, right? Oh, you can see my face. Yeah. Am I starting to feel it? Yeah, I'm feeling it, man. Woo! It's been a long day. Long day. Woo. And this truck, it all, it hauls ass. This thing's incredible. I mean, this thing's incredible. I mean, this thing is just bad ass. I've never owned a truck this badass in my life. Yeah. They're, you know, my Ford Raptor 30, 37 is a cool truck, but this thing here, oh my gosh, this thing is so fast. Yeah, we'll have to talk about that tomorrow. The, do I even do a conversation? Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. All right, coming in to the parents' community, and they took away the uh, gate guard people. Yeah, it's electronic now. You pull up to the gates here. In the booth, there's no person there anymore. It's a uh, electronic device where you roll up, and it takes a picture of your face. I think it does. It takes a picture of your tag, and you hit a green button to let you in. Wow. And then I, you knew some of these guards that work there, so they're out of a job. Oh, the change of times. As we get home, and man, I tell you what, I'm tuckered out. I, mean, I really am. If I wasn't this close, I'd borderline be like, I'm going to pull over and just take a nap. Yeah, it's been a long day, man. Woo.